Brittany Atwood, formerly Brittany Smith, is probably best known for her successful YouTube career she's built alongside her husband, Roman Atwood. Their main channel, Roman Atwood Vlogs, is at over 15 million subscribers, believe it or not. Their YouTube channel focuses on mainly vlog style videos and pranks, all of which are family friendly. Since it's a family channel, Brittany has a leading role just like Roman does. They also have had two children together, a son Kane and a daughter Cora, and Roman has a son named Noah from his previous marriage. Their kids are also featured in the videos. Say hi. Oh, you wanna say hi? <laughs> if you follow the fam or Brittany, you may have noticed she's been looking a little more shapely lately, in one particular area, but we'll get into that later. Brittany's 28 at the time of this video, and apparently she was born in Ohio, which is where she still lives to this day with her family. Although Britney has been with Roman for over a decade now, they just tied the knot last year in 2018, which of course was documented on their channel. Lord, as you stand here in the presence of all friends and family, we ask for your blessing upon this couple as they enter into this marriage. Either way, Britney has been there with Roman for the whole ride and even before the success. The couple made it big together and clearly they're keeping a loyal audience. Aside from their successful YouTube channel, the Atwoods run a merch line called Smile More, so they have a few income streams, that's for sure. I'm sure plenty of fans follow the Atwoods because they seem down to earth and like more of a real family. When I compare their vlogs to the Ace family, for example, it's like they're a different species. Even though Britney and Roman are doing really well, they can still be relatable. However, in this video we'll be focusing less on all of that and more on Britney. At the time of this recording, she has almost 3 million followers on Instagram and over a million on Twitter as well. There isn't a ton of information on Britney and her past online, so we can really only go by what she posts. What's going on guys and girls? My name is Kara and this series we have titled Before and After. Today we're going to look at Britney and how she's changed over the years. Although she looks pretty much the same since before her YouTube success, she has had at least one or two big changes to her physical appearance, and let's not forget that she's the mama of two. But we'll cover those things about Britney in just a little bit here for you on Famous Entertainment. I've also done other celebrity transformation videos on the likes of Katherine Pays and Tana Mojo, and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. If you like this channel, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you never miss out. I've been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. Now let's get into this video. Let's see how Britney looked before making it big as a YouTuber. Looking at old photos from her Instagram, we can see in 2012 she looked super young. In this picture with Roman, she still has her signature blue eyes and black hair. Some websites claim that Britney used to have a goth style pre-YouTube, but I have yet to see photos of that. If any of you guys know if that's true, be sure to let me know down in the comments. The closest thing I could find was this pic of Britney probably at some rock concert. In 2012, Britney still looked like a kid herself, but she was already a mom. Roman and Britney welcomed their first child together, Kane, in 2011, so clearly she was pretty young when she had him. It also looks like Britney has a good build because this photo on the beach was taken not long after she had Kane, and she looks like she's already lost any trace of baby weight. Apparently that pic was from this trip, which was the first time that Roman and Britney ever filmed a vlog together, and they were celebrating four years of being a couple. Standing at around 5'3", we know that Britney is on the petite side, so from the looks of it, she also may have always had a tiny frame. Either way, I would love to know her secrets for getting back in shape so fast. So it would appear that Britney hasn't changed all that much from her before and after pics, but we do know she's gotten at least one cosmetic surgery because her and Roman have posted it on the vlog channel. Remember how I said earlier that Brit's been looking a little more shapely lately? Well, it's all because of her boob job. Last year, Britney decided to go under the knife and get breast implants, and her and Roman documented the journey through their vlogs. We are at um, an office to, we're one week away, right? One week away from actually get the surgery, before you actually get surgery. What I'm doing is, everyone knows I've had like kids. Yeah. So I'm just trying to... To so, so rebuild. To rebuild. To rebuild. It's not a crazy rebuild, it's just like, trying to make myself feel a little better. She also stated in this vlog that she wanted to do it after she had Kane, but waited in case they ended up having another child, which they did. In this first video, Brittany was getting a consultation and selecting the size of her implants, what Roman explained as trying them on. 
to all the girls out there that like have thought about it or anything or like are gonna be like don't change the body you're perfect the way you are like you are perfect the way you are and if you're happy with that then be happy with that if you're not and want to do something then do it oh. it's all about the way you feel not about whatever that's why i'm getting mine done because the couple is on youtube all the time and shares most of their lives on the platform it would have been pretty hard to hide a major change like this which is one of the reasons why Brittany wanted to share her experience with the audience. All right, little girl, how you feeling? Um, you got your little to-go bag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still a zombie. Still, still sleepy, still dark out. It's getting light. Uh, yeah. You ready? I'm just ready for it to be over. Yeah, same. I'm super like, I don't know. It's like a weird feeling. Let's go. Let's just get it over with. All right, this is your, your little room for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Just seeing that hospital procedure makes me nervous, but everything obviously went smoothly and Brittany came out with her new chest. This is like a NASCAR race in here. How you feeling? Uh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Alright, this is just oxygen, okay? It's gonna smell like new plastic because it is. So tilt your chin up for me. Okay. Take some nice big deep breaths for me. Hands gonna hold that there in place where you take those nice big deep breaths. Give me a thumbs up. Nice. Nice big deep breaths, okay? I want you to give me 10 of the biggest deepest breaths you can take. Now here's where we're gonna give you the medicine to get you real sleepy, okay? Back home, we've taken, I slept longer, but we've just taken a very needed nap. Brit is up, you still got marker all over your. <laughs> I know. The doctor like marked her all up. So how you feeling? Good. The pain medicine's making you feel better than you are. Oh, yeah, for sure. If I didn't have pain medicine right now, I'd probably be crying. We were driving home, and she's like, I feel good. And I was like, <laughs> you need to go home and rest. You can tell that she also didn't go overboard and get anything drastically bigger. It looks like the size she chose for her implants suit her smaller frame, and when you look at photos now, they look great on her. I feel really good. I'm just to the point where I'm like, I want to get the pickles off the top shelf by myself. It is annoying. And, and like, like I can like hold Cora to where like I'm sitting down, but I can't just go and pick her up. And I can't like I can't do any of that yet, which sucks really bad. But yeah. Aside from the boobs, which Brittany was totally open about, it's clear she hasn't got any other work done. I mean, she basically looks the same as before she had kids and still has a baby face. Tweeting about her breast augmentation, Brittany also told fans, I do not have my lips done for one. Also, my boobs are to fix what I have. Most people do not understand what having kids do to them. It's not like I'm going to a double D. So I guess some fans were saying she has lip injections as well, but that tweet was her setting the record straight. I also don't think that Britney looks like she had her lips in hands, because that's usually pretty noticeable these days. Some minor things we know Britney has had done are things like microblading her eyebrows, which they shared in a vlog as well. So this this is this is This is why I have eyebrows. This is why you have eyebrows. You know, a few vlogs ago, I don't remember having eyebrows, so this yeah. is it. Brit also gets eyelash extensions, which she says there, but you can tell because they always look great, even when she's not wearing any makeup. Gosh, who thought of this? Who who was the, the you know, discovered this idea? It, it definitely does look nice when you're done. Like, it takes some time, but. I've been doing it for years. I don't know if you can tell. Pretty yeah. solid look for me. What does it feel like? It hurts. <laughs> I'm just the annoying guy with the camera. I would say that in terms of getting work done, Brittany definitely seems super natural and down to earth, and only has gotten a few enhancements to make herself feel better. Definitely seems different than a lot of the female influencers out there these days. We know that Brittany still has a great figure too and seems to have kept it after becoming a mom of two. Like I said, she was young when she had her first baby with Roman, only 20 years old. But it seems like both times she had a kid, she bounced back quickly. From the content that the Atwoods post, we also know that Brittany likes to work out regularly and stay in shape. So I'm sure that these workouts definitely helped her after kids. I'm not sure what Britney's other secrets are to having a great body, but whatever she's doing is working. So although the Atwoods have experienced major YouTube success and even surpassed 50 million followers on the platform, they somehow managed to still come across as relatable. The couple doesn't like lying to their fans either, which is probably one of the reasons they're rarely caught in any tabloids or scandals like many other YouTubers. It definitely seems like Britney keeps things real. Okay guys, so now I'll be reading out some comments from previous videos. On our before and after video on Catherine from the Ace family, Mila Michaels said, Austin is so creepy in every damn clip, LMAO. 
I thought this was funny because I also get some creepy vibes from Austin sometimes when I watch the vids. I really don't know what it is. On our Ariana Grande before and after video we did a while back, Selena M said, She should have stopped after the nose job and Botox. Her lips are too big, just saying her face is too small for the huge ass lip she has now. And I don't like how much makeup she wears now. The contour is a bit heavy. She has a lot of natural beauty, I don't know why she covers most of it. She looked her best during the Dangerous Woman era. I personally love Ariana and I think she's flawless, but I agree with you Selena that she looked the best in that era. I really don't think she needed to get her lips enhanced or anything else done like in recent pics. And finally on our Dolan Twins house tour video, Dark Larry at Underworld said, They are really cute and a great house as well, wow. First comment, yay. Thank you Dark for your first comment, I'm glad you like the twins house. Alright guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you want to talk more about Britney's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys a fan of the Atwoods? Do you think Britney looks the same as she did in the early days? Let me know in the comments. And let me know who else you would like me to make a Before and After video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!